Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com, has noted previously Joey Janela joining us here on the show in the final segment. We got a lot of news prior to that point. Maybe we'll take phone calls in the second. I was planning on taking phone calls, but we'll see how things go. Joe Flint on Twitter reported about 40 minutes ago, NBC Sports Network is shutting down later this year. And big events, NHL, NASCAR among them, will migrate to the USA Network. Story coming ASAP. What does this mean? Well, we have to wait and see, because it could mean a lot of things. Among them, the Wednesday night NXT show. To me, it affects mostly NXT in the short term. Because NXT, I believe, is coming up for renewal sometime soon. I'm not sure exactly when. But obviously NXT has not been blowing people away in terms of of the numbers that the show has been doing, including in 18 to 49. So now we've got NHL, NASCAR, others heading to the USA Network. And if these shows, if if these games and such do well, races, etc., if these do well... More people start making sure they got the USA Network as part of their cable package. More people are watching the USA Network in general. All of this obviously is good for Raw. Because, obviously, the more successful your network is, the better the shows on that network are going to do. You take SmackDown, you put it on Fox, SmackDown's doing 2.1, 2.2 million viewers. You take that same show and you put it on the USA Network, the last time it's happened... 880,000, 888,000, and I think a million, maybe a little bit over a million. So obviously, there's far more people that have access to Fox and the USA Network. If you took Raw and you put it on the LRA Network, dude, that show ain't doing a million viewers, just the way things go. So anything that boosts the viewership of the USA Network in general, in the short term, would be good for Raw and probably good for NXT as well. Now, obviously... USA Network makes the money or pays the money to you to WWE that they pay them because that's one of the things that's helped help boost this network. It bolsters the network. It keeps this network afloat. It does very, very well. If you all of a sudden have some other shows, some other sports that in the 18 to 49 demo are doing great numbers, then all of a sudden when it comes time to renew an NXT, well, there's things you got to think about. Especially if some of these games, if some of these races are going to be taking place on a Wednesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Now, NXT comes up for renewal. I'm not saying that NXT would be canceled. But, I mean, if you've got these other sports that are doing well, maybe NXT does get canceled. Or maybe NXT gets moved. Which, quite frankly, the best possible thing for AEW and NXT is for them not to go head-to-head. So, maybe NXT gets moved to a Thursday night at 8 o'clock, or a Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, or a Friday night at 8 o'clock. These things would all help NXT in terms of the viewership. They would help AEW in terms of their viewership. Maybe it's just decided, you know what, this NXT is not cutting the mustard. Uh, 0.16 in the 18-49 to 49 demo. We got we got NHL, we got NASCAR. We're not paying this money for them anymore. Or it could be when the renewal comes up for Raw, maybe there's tough decisions to be made. Raw all of a sudden is not as necessary, is not as needed as it was before these things moved to the USA Network. Maybe the discussions start to be, hey, listen, we're paying you this amount of money. I know you're expecting an increase, but hey, listen, we'll give you the same amount of money. I doubt they would give them less, but who knows? All of these questions are to be answered. But these sports moving to the USA Network, I mean, my guess is that things aren't going to stay exactly the same when renewal time comes. I don't know if it'll be better for WWE, worse for WWE. We'll see. Yeah, it's there's a lot of moving pieces here because of, of who's involved. Um, the NBC Sports Network shutting down is... It's kind of a surprise, but then again, NBC Universal seems to be putting a lot of their uh, investment in, in in their time right now into the Peacock streaming service, you know. And I don't know how that's going to affect anything. Uh, the the British Premier League, soccer, and 
NASCAR should not affect NXT at all, really. I mean, it's it, they're weekend events. They are during the day in the States most of the time. So in the afternoon, you know, on USA, which I think they do right now anyway, you, you, you do see Premier League games. I think we're it's going to be most affected would be the NHL and granted the NHL is seasonal, but it's still a, a six month season, you know, with with the playoffs included and all that sort of stuff. And the USA already has aired NHL, I believe first round games, and it's been the alternate uh, for NBC and things like that. So it's not, it'll be interesting to see exactly what they decide to do because all of this on top of the fact that the USA network, I mean, there's people there that are not interested in any sports at all. They're, you know, into drama and they're into sitcoms and things like that and original programming they want to put on there. So I, I don't know. I don't know the direction of USA. Uh, obviously NBC sports network is wrapping up but how this affects all of their other properties and where things go. I mean, it's just way too early to tell right now. So the numbers for Wednesday night, which were going head-to-head. Well, it wasn't head-to-head at the inauguration, but the news channels were all talking about the inauguration all day. Wednesday's Dynamite, 854,000 viewers, up 12.1% from last week, which was very impressive. NXT, 659,000 viewers, which was an increase of 19.6% last week, also impressive. 1.513 1.513 million viewers, highest it has been in three weeks, and slightly above the 10 week average. That surprised me. 18 to 49, Dynamite 33rd on cable with a 0.36 rating. If you take out all news programming, it would have been third. So that tells you what the rest of the chart looked like. The rating was up 20% from last week. NXT 0.15 which was 67th on cable and 17th among the non-news shows. Dynamite did very well in males 18 to 49. 0.49 in males 18 to 49, which trailed only one NBA game and ESPN among non-news shows on cable. And year over year in a pandemic, Dynamite up 2.9% in 18 to 49, It is down slightly, 2% in total viewers. NXT down 14.3% in viewership year over year. And down 37.5% in the demo, which is a huge decline. And honestly, when I watched both shows, I uh, thought NXT was the slightly better show. And usually when there's a huge disparity in these numbers, I feel the same way about the shows themselves. But this was a rare change this week. I really liked the NXT show, but... You know, the problem is there have been a lot of things about the NXT show that have irritated me over the last year, and I don't think that I'm the only one. And they have slowly dwindled in viewers, more so than AEW, and hopefully now they can start to turn things around because I thought Wednesday was a very, very good show. Absolutely. It takes step one, you know, so it it took a long time for it to to get down to where it is now. And and now it's, you know, with NXT, they just have to have eyes on 700,000 the same way that AEW needs to have eyes on 800,000 every week. You know, that's if things are going to settle, you know, back to where they were again uh, before all of this stuff. uh, That's kind of where we were at with NXT, you know, 630, 640, 650. You know, they, they're, it's just, they got to get to 700,000 and AEW needs to maintain over 800,000. Now they've gotten to it a couple times. They've been over seven. Now, obviously the goal is, you know, hold on to 800,000 viewers and get them to come back every week. And there's going to be ebbs and flows of this stuff, but you know, it's just, it takes time. One good show after another one. That's how you build momentum. So you can't just hot shot because somebody else is doing something or you, you, you start to get a, an itchy trigger finger. It's just going to take time. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.